Alright, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to um, uh, draw a cartoon character from start to finish. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, draw, well, I'm going to use Rick Ross here, <laughs> okay. Um, this is a little drawing I made and then I scanned it in, I scanned it and imported it in, into uh, Flash. Now this is pretty simple, if you have a pencil drawing, you can take a picture of it, whatever it is, email it to yourself. Once you have the file, you go to File, Import, Import to Library, okay? Or Stage, wherever. I generally import it to the library and then go to the library and just drag it out. Scale it to whatever size that I want. And then uh, I lock that layer that it's in, create a new layer, and then do my drawings in that, okay? So you can do this if you want to, like, you know, do a simple little 2D flash animation, whatever, have some fun, you know. Um, you know how these rappers are, so I may get shot for this, but <laughs> who cares? No, I'm kidding. But, uh, so, <clears throat> let's begin. Now, the thing is, uh, you can use a bunch of different things when you want to draw. Some people use the, the brush tool, some people use the line tool, um, or lines, meaning, like, you can use a rectangle or whatever. I generally use the brush tool in combination with the, with the, with lines, okay, like strokes. So, um, you can use the pencil tool, okay? Now, I'm using a pen tablet. So, some people generally draw free-handed with stuff. Now, the thing is with that is that you, the lines may not come out crisp or perfect, okay? So, you generally have to, like, um, select those lines that you draw and then, like, smooth them out, okay? Um, that can be a little annoying sometimes. So, what I generally advise people to do, which is, like, standard advice, is to use simple shapes, like... Um, the rectangular tool, oval tool, and so on. And that's what I'm going to do for this because it gives you those sharp lines and you don't have to be worrying so much about it, looking, the lines looking squiggly and loose or unprofessional or whatnot, okay? So let's start with um, his torso, all right? This seems like a pretty uh, cool place to begin, right? So let's use the oval tool, all right? Um, this torso is one big oval. Uh, notice the line is pretty thin. You can change that by going to properties and say let's use stroke of two. All right. Now let's you put this so we can match his body. There you go. Alright, so let's see if we can stretch it out a little bit go see what I'm doing is I'm, I'm when you go to the line you see that little curve that comes next to the the, um, the cursor that means when if I should pull at this point I'm gonna stretch the uh, the line out see so I'll do that all right so there you go that's his torso all right so I want to break this line so I can bring in the curve a little bit you can easily do that by, uh, you can use the, the lasso tool, which, you know, you can do that and cut that, cut that out. Or you could have used a select tool, whatever, you, you know, you're more comfortable with. Now, see, now you can do that and just start shaping it up a little bit. Another thing is, too, that you can use, you can use a sub-select tool. Sub-select tool shortcut is A. Click on the line. Now, to see what it does, it shows you these points, the points that are used to make the shape. Now, you can individually, you can click on each point, and then what you see are these little hand. Actually, I'm going to change that color. So, you know, this is how you change the color of the uh, whatever you're working on. Okay, good. So now you can see the handles. Each point has a handle, and you can use the handle to manipulate the shape. Of the form you're using. Now, if you're still, if you still feel like the lines are not smooth enough, you can still select everything and go to smooth, and this will smooth the lines out for you. Notice this is changing the shape of the. See now it's like a big circle, all right? Actually, I think I like that. That's pretty cool, all right? So uh, let's make uh, his tits, right? So you can use the. The line tool, you can do like so. You can use the oval tool as well, whichever you're 
you know, comfortable with. And that's a good thing you should try to do is like, you know, really experiment with the um with the different tools and um just play with them, you know, and, and, and find your comfortable way of working. Okay. Um So what I did was copy and paste in place, put it here. So you see this, the one that's further away looks a little smaller than this one. Now you could um, just join them together like that with a line. Use a snap tool to really snap them in place, okay? So they snap together, snap together, all right? All right, now I may not want that to look too angular. I may want to... There you go. And for the belly button, I could just use the oval tool. You know, I'll do something like so. Use a select tool, select the half of it, cut it off. Select that, rotate it a little bit. And there you go, it's a belly button. You could wanna give them a shirt, right? Uh, so let's, uh, we could do like so, all right? And then just lift it up like that. Right. Uh, and there you go. You got the. Hey, you could give him a little collar too. You know, if you want, since he does have a T-shirt on. Uh, let's do that again. Oval tool. Yeah, on that. Right. Like so. Copy this. Paste in place. And then I could, you know, adjust adjust the shape of that. Now there are two here, two lines. One is directly placed above the other. So now I'm just going to uh, pull this one out, right? So now you can see the collar of his shirt. There you go. Select the little tips and delete them. And there you go. See? So I'm just pretty much using the um, the line tool to show you how to go about it. So we can knock out uh, the legs pretty fast. Um, so, hmm, let's use the line tool, rectangular tool, make this leg like so. Um, we could copy that, paste, copy, paste in place, drag it over a little bit, right, like so. And no, but the thing, a thing to point out here is that when you're actually about to animate this you have to separate the body parts individually but what I'm showing you here is just how to go about drawing the um, the character um, you know using the uh, a tool and another thing when you see a line like this you can just you see when I move the cursor to the tip there's a little corner or angle that comes there that means you can select the tip and drag it see like so I can still round that up a little bit, right, to cover the, the curvature of his torso. Um, line tool, like so. Make another line. Uh, make another line. Make another line. Um, actually, I'll undo that one. Uh, use the rectangular tool. Give him his belt buckle. Another belt buckle. All right. Um, you can make a line here, right? Another line here. Um, so like that, delete that, like that, like that. Um, so it's just just how you you know abuse the simple tools and just just draw what you want. All right. Um, actually, I'll. I'll do that and give it a little curvature so it doesn't look too straight, you know. There you go. That would be his boxers, you know, like hanging off and stuff, right? And uh, a little curvature to that. Then I'll put in his loops. So you can use a line or you could use a rectangle. It's up to you, all right? There's no right or wrong way to do it because you coming to the can end up having the same results anyway so all right 
go. But it's just to demonstrate how you can just use the simple tools and, you know, do cool stuff with it. All right. So <clears throat> pretty much see how you can, you know, use the uh, tools here and just, you know, do simple stuff. All right. Of course, the stomach will be hiding the uh, this part of the belt. I won't be seeing that. Snap right there. Try to make that seem like it just swings from one tip. There you go. All right. Join this here. Then you can just use lines and just show the creases in his pants right there. Yeah? There you go. All right. Um, I'll show you, uh, for for the the foot, you can just you know, for the shoes, you can just use a rectangle tool. Um, actually, I'll do it down here. And all you have to do is just pretty much just drag the points around, round it up a little bit, like so. You can select everything and just push it up. And there you go. All right. Those are his shoes. And you can, you know, if you want to, um, you can copy that, paste in place, and you can just drag it over. Just delete that. Delete that. And there you go. All right. So <laughs> there, there you just, uh, you know, did his whole body and torso and stuff. Pretty simple, you know. Um, so there he is. His arms, you can see, are just pretty much rectangles. And then for the for the hand, you can just use the oval tool and knock that out. Um, let's see how I could just go in and do the head really quick. <clears throat> 